tell you key points about banks. In case you thought banks lend money, they take deposits and lend money, you're wrong. Banking was developed, modern banking was developed in the United Kingdom in the 17th century and the legal facts are very clear but not very well known. Banks do not take deposits and banks do not lend money. That is a fact. So how is that possible? How is that possible? Well, legally they do not take deposits, they borrow from the public because your money at the bank is not on deposit, it's not held in custody, it's not a bailment. What is it legally? You have lent money to the bank. So the expressions in banking are designed to mislead what's really happening. Who is the owner of this money? It is the banks. You're just a general creditor, which is very different from the impression given when we use the term deposit. What about lending? Surely banks lend money. No, they don't. No bank has ever lent any money. How is that possible? What does a bank do? Banks purchase securities and they don't pay up. That's what they do. How's that? Well, if you go to the bank and you borrow money, you sign a loan contract. Very crucial. Your signature creates the money supply. Because the bank legally will consider the loan contract a promissory note. And that's what it's considered legally. It's a promissory note. Just like the Bank of England note and central bank money, paper money, is a promissory note from the central bank. And the bank purchases this contract. That's what they do. They purchase the loan contract. Now they, they, they owe you money. You, you say, I don't care about the mechanics. Give me the money. The banker will say, we'll put it in your account. You'll find it in your bank account. Well, what is a bank account? It's not a deposit. What is it? It is a record of the bank's debt to the public. It's a record of the bank's debt to the new borrower. And they'll show you the record of how much money they owe you. That's it. They don't pay up. And this is how the money supply is created. Um, so let's, yep, if you press in sequence. Um, so step one, the bank, you go to the bank and you sign the loan contract, say a thousand pounds, let's you know, call it a billion. Um, this will be recorded in the bank balance sheet as an increase in bank assets. The bank will then record its debt to the borrower but it will do some accounting trick. It should really say this is an accounts payable item, something the bank has to pay and is not yet paid. But it won't record it as accounts payable. Any, if you talk to a bank accountant, they're horrified. They say, oh no, you can't use an expression like accounts payable in the bank. And you know why? Because they record it as customer deposit. They'll show it on the bank liability side as a customer deposit. But nobody's deposited it. The customer hasn't deposited it for sure. The customer is borrowing it. The bank hasn't deposited it either. It is added to the money supply and this is how 97% of the money supply is created out of nothing on the basis of the signature and of course the credit of the borrower. That is money creation. Okay. So no money is transferred from anywhere else to the borrower's account.